What is up everyone, Mr. Aviator here, bringing you another episode of The Sims 3 here on Aviator Games, and you guys, today, me and my wife, Tiara, are going to attempt to have our first child together. This will be my fourth child, but me and my new wife's first child, and before we get into it, you guys, last episode, a lot of you guys were like, hey, this house isn't as good as your last house, A Aviator, A A Aviator, your house sucks, I, I don't like it, please move, please, so I decided to stay in the same city, but I got a new house, basically, I I bought a new house. I'm going to show you guys what the house looks like. So this is the house. Uh, it's huge. It's on a 64 by 64 lot. So we have tons of space. Look at all that space. Uh, and basically, um, I spent like about two and a half hours so far just doing the inside work. And I probably still have an hour and a half left to finish it all up. Plus the outside because I have a lot I want to do to the outside. So let me quickly show you guys before we hop into making babies. But before we do anything, you guys, make sure to slap that like button. Because next episode is our 50th episode of The Sims 3. And if we get one... 1,500 likes, you guys. I'm going to make that a one-hour episode. So make sure to slap that like button and share this video around as much as you can. But let me show you the house. Let's start from the very bottom. Okay, so I haven't done anything downstairs yet. So this is how it came. It uh, is really crappy. I have a ton that I want to do to the downstairs. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um... And we're probably going to be doing that in this episode of Baby Proof for the house. Okay, so then I did this. I redid the whole upstairs right here. We got this nice entryway with an amazing living room with a great fireplace. And I love the walls. They look all like studio professionalism like and then we go down here we got nice paintings I did two of the same painting just because they look so cool got these cool little lights uh, that big plant I did the dining room all in stone which is pretty sweet and I, I put these little lights up there uh, and then we have our kitchen over here which is really fancy and then upstairs uh, I did this too we kept the same wall pace uh, because it's like pretty much just a balcony um, and then same flooring and then in here is going to be Samantha's bedroom my oldest daughter um, um, or the oldest daughter I have living with us. Uh, so this is her little bedroom and bathroom combo. She's got a stone bathroom. It looks really sweet. Uh, then we have an office space over here where I'll be doing some of my work since I live at home and work at home and don't really have a job. So that's my little office. Then upstairs, which I haven't touched anything yet, is going to be mine and uh, <laughs> Tierra's bedroom slash, you know, chill lax room because we're going to make this probably a either a, a living room or a activity room that everyone can use, but here we can have our own TV if we want, and we're going to redo this bathroom. So that's kind of what we're going to do, and then down here, this will probably be the butler's and our new baby's bathroom, and our bedroom and bathroom, so that's that's kind of what, oh, and then I bought two cars for a total of like 200000 we got an SUV and then a sports car, it's pretty sweet, uh, but yeah, that's, that's our life, that's how it's going right now. But let's actually start this romantic endeavor with Tierra. So we just got married last episode. And Tierra's been married before, but it was to a woman. Uh, and basically, she's never had the opportunity to have kids. Um, because, you know, you could only adopt. And she just didn't want to do that at the moment in her life. So now she really wants to have kids that... Now that she's married to me, and, you know, I'm famous, she's somewhat famous, so she feels like this might be a good move to have to have these beautiful children that will be successful and have a good start in life. So that's what we're going to do. Let's pull away a little bit. Okay, so fast forward this, and there we go. Okay, so now she thinks we're being extremely irresistible. This is where we're going to make our move. Uh, and we're going to go try for a baby. Um, now, this will be my fourth child. I've had two girls and one boy. I had Max, Julia, and Samantha. Um, I really want a boy uh, with Tierra. I don't know how many kids I'm going to have with Tierra over the course of our life. I'm hoping Tierra is one of the last wives I have to have, unless something goes horribly wrong. <laughs> but um, I, 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 I don't know how many kids more kids I want. I, want, I, I know I want a few more, uh, but I'm really hoping this next one is a boy. Uh, okay, so let's let's head up these stairs. And see where we're gonna go. I'm, I hope that they go in their actual bedroom. That's what I'm hoping. I made it upstairs, so they better go upstairs. Where is she going? Where? Oh, okay. She's what? We're going downstairs. This is in our bedroom. Ah, oh, they're going to the crappy bedroom with a crappy bed. Oh, that's not a place to conceive a baby. <laughs> okay, so let let's have them walk in here, and I guess we'll start to conceive this baby. Oh, God. Are we in the bed yet? Oh, oh, wait. Where are we? Oh, you assholes. You almost went to the opposite bed. I would have killed you guys if I couldn't capture this moment for my diary. <laughs> diary. Uh. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to be making some babies, you guys, here in just a second. Let's get in that cinematic mode. Oh, she's wearing a, a weird dress that covers everything. Gotta like that in a woman. <laughs> 
Okay, so there they go under the sheets. And let's see, let's listen for that baby sound. That little rattle baby sound. Come on, work. Make that money maker work. Ding, 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 ding. That's a baby sound. So she should be pregnant. Now, in like three to four days, she should give birth. So this is exciting. I'm probably, I'm not going to do any of the cheats like have her eat a whole bunch of apples or anything like that to get a boy because I want it to just be natural. Whatever happens, happens. And that's kind of my goal. She's actually really hungry right now. And I still can't control her. A lot of you guys said I should move her out and move her back in. I'm just afraid if I move her out, I won't be able to move her back in. So that's just something we're going to have to, to, to mess around with. I'm going to give it a try. Uh, I'm just going to be sad if it's going to be really hard to move her back in. But it, it shouldn't be too bad. So uh, I just don't want her to lose the baby or anything. So I'll probably leave her like this until we have the baby. And then take that chance at moving her out. And scatter. Hey, why would he do that? Uh, okay, so now you guys, one thing we're going to definitely do is do some more horse stuff. So in between the two episodes I've done, I've been riding my horse a lot. I think he's got like a four jump skill, something like that. Let's see. So he's got a five racing skill and a four jump skill. Um, we entered a couple tournaments or competitions. We won one racing competition, got like 600 bucks from it. It was a beginner's racing. And we took like seventh in the jumping competition. So we have a lot of work to still do with the horse. Our little uh, vanilla here. It, it is a girl horse. You guys let me know that much. Let's see, how, how satisfied are, is she? Okay, so she's got tons of energy. She's a little thirsty, so we're going to actually have her wake up now. And we're going to have her drink and then maybe eat some hay as well. So that way she gets, gets a little better off here. But look at this giant yard, you guys. I want to set up like a horse obstacle course. <laughs> oh, man, I'm losing my voice from packs. Uh, a pond, because I think we could fish, you know, and have like a garden. And then I want to also like have like a pool area, like that's a party zone, kind of like our old house had set up. But this is like country living, and I want my kid to grow up with like a nice playground set and all that good stuff. So that's kind of what I'm looking forward to having. Okay, so let's go let Vanilla out of her pen. She's eating right now, and she's already done with her thirst. Come on, Vanilla! Come out of your pen! Let's go riding! Come on, come on, girl! Come! Oh, Jesus. She was getting really mad one day. I rode her way too long, um, and I guess she was going to kill me. But she didn't, so that was a good thing. Because <laughs> they're like, you better get off your horse before she bucks you off, boy. You've been riding all the way too long. Uh, so let's hug her, and then let's also... Why can't we clean her hooves? Oh, they're still clean. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Let's brush you, and then let's... we got to give affection to her. So right now, me and Vanilla are actually best friends. Uh, so that means like she'll ride better with you. She'll love you more. I guess you have a better chance of winning races. You won't get bucked off. That kind of stuff. It's all a benefit of being nice to your horse. Uh, let's see my horse's status. Yeah, it's we're best friends. Best friends forever. So like the animal's attached to me completely, and she loves me that much to give me that title. So we're giving her a little snack and everything. Tonight we're going to race her. This is paparazzi here. We don't need to see him. Okay, so let's saddle her and let's go to the saddles. Let's put on the uh, jumping saddle. Put that jumping saddle on. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's uh, mount her. Oh, <laughs> she's peeing. Okay, so $209 Samantha earned and got a promotion to a medical intern. So Samantha's doing well in her career path. Yes, scattered the hay woman. Okay, so now we're on top of the horse. So what we're going to do is, what time is it? It's 4.44 in the afternoon. So I think the races start around 4 or 5. Let me go check. So here's, see, so yeah, our new house has a way better location as well. As you can see, we're really close to the horse racing area and the horse training area. Uh, we got this giant lot right near the water. I like this farm. I wouldn't care, I wouldn't mind to move these people out and take this farm one day. Because just look at this farm. It's a crappy house. But it's just a nice setup. I love the way they did this. They, they have like, we could do this even. Uh, we could build fences around our area and let the horse be in that area. So I think like I'm going to take some of this. and Because I want our kid to grow up like respecting life and hard work and chores and stuff like our new kid. Because we have a new demeanor now. So, okay, so let's see. Hmm, what time does this start? No competitions are happening right now. Okay, so let's just go here. Uh, let's go visit the grounds with Vanilla the Horse. Uh, okay, so down to Vanilla the Horse we go. <laughs> so I have a riding skill too. I think I have a riding skill of five or six right now. Let me see. Riding skill. There it is. A six. Okay, so we're heading towards a seven right now. Oh, oh God, I thought the car was going to take us out. Okay, so let's see. Is this open yet to racing? Oh, it is. Okay, so let's enter the cross-country racing competition for beginners. Uh, let's leave the training grounds. 
to the cross country racing competition. Okay, let's go down here. This is a little laggy today. I don't know why. I should probably uh, mess around with some stuff. Okay, so let's head in there, Vanilla. Save the herding. Present check to the Crestview School. Oh, can she do that right now? Present check. Go ahead. Go ahead and do that. I see. I still can't control her, but she at least controls herself pretty well. Okay. So we're heading in. Okay. So oh, Samantha just took a spin in a car that was worth 40000 or more. Okay. Yeah. That's our car. Okay. So right here, this is cool. This Okay. So this is a cross-country race. I've never done one of these. So I'm guessing this is a longer race. I've done the, the races, and I always run at go for broke or take risks. But this is a cross-country race, and we have an okay racing skill. I think it's like a five or a six. So I think I'm going to... Uh, you might get a higher place, or you might fall behind. So we're going to take some risks to start this race out. Um, and then we're going to probably run the quarter way mark. Reanalyze our stance here. So let's see. So we're still in 12th place. We're still in 12th place. So we're going to go for broke right now. We're going to see where we can get. And when we get to the halfway mark, then we're going to have to reanalyze. Okay, so let's let's keep a steady pace. Keep a steady pace. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so we're coming to the final stretch of the race right now. We got to go for broke. Go, Vanilla. Go. Go, Vanilla. Go. Go, Vanilla. Go, go, go. Here we go. Here we go, you guys. We're, we might win this race. We just got to keep this up. Okay, so let's see. We can do this. We can do this. Come on, Vanilla. Stay in the lead. Oh, we did it, you guys. We did it. Vanilla ridden by Zach Letter has placed fast in the Baldwin Horse Trials. In addition to the prize money, Zach Letter has received a trophy and the adoration of the crowd. Who's ah? Okay, so now congratulations, Vanilla has a racing skill of level six now. I didn't really see how much money we earned on that. I missed out on it. Okay, so let's see. I gotta get figure out how to get rid of all these bills. I don't know why they're here. There's no way to delete them. It's quite annoying. I want these gone out of my freaking inventory. I'm going to get these trophies out of here, and this scrap is going to go, too. Um, I wish there was a way to delete all. I might have to look that up. But, yeah, this is just more glitches I'm having with The Sims, and I hope it doesn't lead to a lifetime of, of woes and crying if this all like, comes to a screeching halt. Okay, so what's this? What's this goal? Win a beginner cross-country competition. We can do that. We've just done it. Uh, okay, what's their goal? Gallop around. She'll do that eventually. Sniff Tierra. No. Uh, jump over a horse jumping obstacle. We can easily do that for her. Uh, okay, so what time is it? It's 7.30 at night. So what we're going to do is go here and visit this arena with Vanilla, our horse. Give her some of that jumping experience she wants so badly. Um, and that way we can uh, get a little practice in. Okay, text from Galvin. No thanks. Okay, let's hop back on the horse. And let's head over here. Okay, so she got 500 celebrity points. Samantha is such a nice person. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, run jumping course. Go! <laughs> Okay, so we're running the jumping course. She still has problems with these with these two bars or three bars. Best food in town, eat at a Uber. Uh, yeah, we can do that. We haven't done one of those restaurant things in a long time. Okay, so we're going to have her continue to do this jumping course. She doesn't... Okay, what we could do is actually the easy one. I just thought she was finally ready for the big one, but I guess not. So we'll do this one. This might be a mid-level one. That's the hard level one. So let's try this. Run jumping course. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, she did it. She did it. Level five. Okay, she level five in jumping. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so did she... Okay, what does she want here? Win an advanced racing competition. Uh, would it be get her racing. Uh, get a triple bar jump. We can buy We can buy that for, uh, for vanilla. So that way she can do this at home. Oh, she knocked it down. She knocked it down. Why'd you do that, vanilla? Why'd you knock down the... <laughs> Why'd you knock down the jumping thingy? Why can't I fix this? Give me this touchy thing. Give me, give me yep. Da, damn it! Okay, there it is. Uh, pick up rails. Uh, replace all rails. Replace some rails. Replace all rails. Damn it, vanilla. Damn it. No, vanilla. We gotta. Okay, let's uh, let's like let's give her a little affection. We're gonna feed her a treat because she did win a race today and she did do all the, this practice. So we we gotta give her like we gotta clean her hooves and and brush her. So let's go do all that. Then we gotta head home. It's already midnight, so we're tired. We gotta get home and get some rest. Um, okay, so hello vanilla. Take it easy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> okay, so cleaning her hooves, giving her a brush, uh, and then we're gonna mount her, and then we gotta head home. So good thing the the house is close to here. So let's go back here. This is a giant lot. I love this lot. Okay, so we gotta get on the horse. Okay, so now we're on the horse. Put ridden horse in. 
Okay, so Samantha's a little ill right now. That's not good. But once we get home, Vanilla's going to go in here. And then Vanilla will drink, and she will eat some hay, and then she will take a big nap. What is this? Improved jumping skill. Okay, so what we're going to take away is gallop around because improved jumping skill is more points. And you can actually buy things with your horse's lifetime reward points for themselves to make them a better animal and better horse in general. So that's what we're going to go do. So there we go. Vanilla's inside. We're going to bed. Uh, we I think we're going upstairs to our actual bedroom, right? Wait, where are we? Where are we? Okay, yeah, we are. Okay, so we're going to bed. Samantha better be in bed. Okay, Samantha's in bed. She's hungry. She does not take care of herself very well, you guys. I'm not going to lie. Samantha, she has issues, this girl. <laughs> okay, so eat some leftover mac and cheese. There's an emergency at the hospital, and Samantha Letter needs to get out there and help. Oh, God. Okay, do boss's paperwork. Go, Samantha, go. You got to wake up. You're not going to get much sleep. The hospital never sleeps. Okay, so Samantha's gone. She's at work. She missed half of it, half the emergency. It must not have been that big of an emergency. Uh, then she's got to work. So she wants to go back inside. When she gets home, she'll go back inside. In the carpool. Oh, Samantha, I'm sorry. I am sorry, Samantha. It sucks to be you right now. Because you basically... You basically gotta go back to work right after that. Right after that. Oh, Samantha. Go back. Go back. Go uh, do the boss's paperwork. Okay, so Samantha's at work for the rest of the day. Oh, uh, that really sucks. I don't miss those hours. Samantha's really got it tough right now. Hopefully they give her lunch at work or something. Uh, that's all we can hope for at this moment because she is starving right now. What is this? Likes work. Oh, she loves working though. I forgot that. She's a workaholic, so so she shouldn't be too upset with that. As soon as she eats, she'll be fine. And she probably will eat within a couple hours, so. Uh, so how hard work has paid off. She got a permanent $3 raise per hour. Oh, uh, while working at the children's hospital, Samantha discovered that children are much happier taking vitamins. Okay, so there we go. Good. Okay, so now we're done. I have n I don't like this bathroom, but we're going to take a bath really quick. Just to kind of get our energy back there. Get a little clean. A little clean going. Then we're going to head downstairs. And we don't have a butler for this house yet. Uh, we'll have to get one soon. Um, I assume we'll probably, once I finish this house, I'll probably do all the reconstruction uh, in between episodes. Because I know you guys don't like to see it that much. Um... But that's something I'll probably do. If you guys do want to see parts of it, tell me in the comments right away before I record the next episode. I'll look at them. And if you guys want to see me rebuilding this house a little bit, tell me and uh, uh, maybe I'll do it. Uh, improve handiness skill. No, we don't want to do any of that. So we'll eat this mac and cheese. We're all good on that now. What's this? Listen to compliment. Okay, so where is she? Oh, she's right there. Okay. Uh, so there's Tierra. She does not work right now because, well, one, I feel like it's not important for her to have a job because we do have a lot of money. Still, after owning hundreds of thousand dollars worth of cars, this house, which is worth like nearly two hundred thousand dollars or more already, um, we're worth about eight hundred thousand dollars. So I feel like she doesn't have to work right now. We can kind of take it easy. Uh, she can have the baby, and I can just, you know, continue to do what I want. Oh, look at she's having pregnancy thoughts. Okay, what's this? Social networking skill. Advanced technology, athletic skill. Why does my guy want to prove, improve his skills so much? Okay, so it's time to go actually eat at this restaurant. I forgot about this. We could do this deal right now. So let's uh, go to the restaurant. And... Wait. What? Uh, you're supposed to give me the, the, the thingy. Uh, to eat here alone. Okay, I guess not. Well, if the restaurant's going to be like that, then I don't want to do it, maybe. Maybe I don't want to do it. Oh, we could join the video game career here. I think I saw that. Video game developer career. Uh, that's something I'm, I'm interested in doing because I think it's going to be fun. It's just I don't know if I want to do it right now because I kind of want to keep doing this horse stuff. I like doing the horse stuff. I think it's fun. And I'm having a good time getting our horse, Vanilla, up to a good standard of horsing. <laughs> okay, so Vanilla, you got to eat. You got to eat some or eat some hay and, and take some drink. Uh, she needs some exercise as well. So what we got to do is, I think we got to fence a part of this off, build some jumping courses, something like that. I think that's going to work really well to, to like kind of train vanilla. And it's going to look cool because we can section off this, put like a garden and all that kind of stuff. And then we can kind of have this area over here with like pools and ponds and stuff. And I think I can, like I might put a pond here. Like this big area can be a pond. 
and then we'll have like the horse training area and then we'll have a pool and a barbecue area with a hot tub. I really like the setup we have going. So I'm excited to, to, to do further things. But you guys, if you want like the next episode to be an hour long, like I said, remember to slap that like button. If we get 1,500 likes, it will happen. But until then, you guys, remember to take it easy. Live it squeezy. <laughs>